Hi everybody. Today I want to talk about a topic that I've thought a lot about over the years uh, in the aquarium hobby. It was something that was actually intimidating to me when I first got into the hobby and that is the topic of what we mean by pristine water in our aquariums and honestly to this day I'm still not sure what is meant by pristine water and I suppose it depends on who you talk to. So the point of this video is just to have a discussion about uh, the definition of pristine water. It's not for me to explain to you what it means because again I'm not a hundred percent sure how it's defined but I would certainly be interested to hear uh, other people's thoughts on this topic. When I first got into the hobby I thought that pristine water meant pure water. Uh, I was told to use RO water by a lot of people. Uh, I was given some very bad advice by a lot of people to use RO water in just about every situation. And I wound up killing quite a few fish and some very expensive fish by using uh, almost entirely RO water in some of my tanks. And I found out the hard way that really pure water is not good to keep most fish in and fish need electrolytes and they need dissolved solids in the water, they need certain levels of hardness. Uh, and this is where I began my journey of learning about you know, water chemistry beyond the do lots of water changes and keep your nitrates really low. You know, I began learning about water hardness and dissolved solids and electrolytes and again all those things that fish need uh, to keep them good and healthy. So I was able to rule out the idea that pure water was what was meant by pristine and after a while, this actually came up uh, originally way back in the day when I tried to keep shrimp a lot. I was told by a lot of people that I needed to keep the shrimp in pristine water. And a lot of people said that that meant pure water. I should keep them in RO water and so on and so forth. And I found out after a while of doing that and having no success at keeping fish in very pure water, I'm sorry, keeping shrimp uh, in very pure water, uh, I found out that shrimp need fairly hard water. They need a lot of calcium, and not only do they need it in their diet, they really kind of need it in their water, too. And I got to thinking about my um, puffer fish, my figure eight puffer is a brackish fish, lives in brackish water, and you'll often hear brackish environments described as pristine, or you'll hear marine environments described as pristine, and those are very far from pure water. So pristine obviously doesn't mean pure, but what does it mean in the aquarium hobby? Because if you look the word up, the word basically means untouched or unsullied or in its original state. And so that doesn't really apply to the aquarium hobby. There is, you know, you can't have an aquarium that's untouched and still have fish in it. You have to, you know, that, that you know, I don't really need to explain that one. Obviously, you can't have untouched uh, environment in an aquarium. But does it mean lack of pollutants or really clean water because even then you start getting into how do you define clean you know we can have this discussion about nitrates and whether nitrates are dirty in your tank and whether phosphates building up have any kind of an impact um, you know all of these are natural organics that would also build up in a natural environment but just maybe to much lower concentrations than we would have here in our aquarium so again, where is this line drawn between how clean is clean and again, how do, how do you even define clean? Um, I know you can talk about the mulm that builds up on the bottom of an aquarium, but have you ever seen the bottom of a river or a lake? You know, it does, they don't have any better filtration systems, you know, the, the, the mulm and the crud and the de decaying leaves, that's all there. Uh, I know it does have denitrifying bacteria going on and you've got a lot more volume of water and that's my whole point. When you really start thinking about this, I feel like I can fall down a rabbit hole trying to figure out where you define pristine in an aquarium environment. It just, it, you know, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And it was something that I found to be fairly intimidating when I first got into the hobby because when you start looking at the care requirements for most fish, it says you know 50 percent weekly water changes or this you know fish won't thrive unless it's in pristine water not all but a lot of fish say that and you know for me i wasn't even necessarily sure what they meant by pristine water let alone was i going to be able to maintain it um you know and I, so i i you know between that and what i was told about nitrates early on 
I spent a lot of time doing water changes and gravel vacuuming and changing out filter pads and all that stuff, and I lost a lot of fish because of that. I was doing more harm than good because I was shifting my pH, I was shifting my hardness, my carbonate hardness might have been shifting. Uh, I was probably never letting my nitrogen cycles fully, you know, establish good and thoroughly because I was constantly doing these water changes. And I was just, you know, I was obsessed with keeping this pristine water, even though, again, I wasn't really sure what is meant by pristine water. Um, and I, I don't, so I don't know. I, I really still, to this day, I don't know what is exactly meant by pristine water. Um, I've looked up several different definitions, and the closest I could find that would be anything that would apply to the aquarium hobby would be clean, you know, or, or again, pure. Um, you know, like pristine snow would be pure snow that hasn't been, you know, trodden on or, or there's no dirt settled on it. Um, untouched snow, again, pristine, would be in its natural state. How does that apply to the aquarium hobby? And even if you're going to use the word clean, where, what is clean, you know? So I'd, I'd be really fascinated to hear uh, your point of view, your opinion about what pristine means and how that applies to the aquarium hobby. And this sort of definition of pristine is kind of building up to what I want to talk about when I talk about keeping shrimp. Because as I said, that that's, um, you know, kind of where this really came up for me in the beginning is I was told that I needed to keep shrimp in really pure water or pristine water. And that's not the case at all. Shrimp do not do well in really pure water, at least ghost shrimp. I can't speak for any kind of other shrimp. But knowing what I know about crustaceans and, you know, animals with exoskeletons, they need calcium for that shell. So I'm assuming it probably applies to all shrimp across the board that living in really pure water uh, is probably not good for them. But again, that'll be another video where we'll talk about that uh, coming up in the future. So make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss that or anything else. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your opinion about this. And don't forget, of course, this one here is my 125-gallon New World tank. So thanks again. Hope you enjoyed that one. And I'll see you real soon in the next one.